enough about the mints. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about mints. One of the courses that I teach is called Creative Thinking Theory and Practice. So how can we be unique and how can we be ourselves and think for ourselves if that is the human nature? Ever since we've been children, we've been told, don't do this. Don't act like this. The monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind, and that is by Albert Einstein. Gandhi also said, solitude is the catalyst for innovation. Ah, cheers everyone. I am trying to get cozy and to relax. I'm drinking. Uh, my favorite tea, something that helps me relax, is peppermint tea, pure peppermint tea. It's so, so good. It's amazing. I love anything peppermint. I love it. I've always loved it ever since I was a kid. It just helps me feel good. I don't know why it does, but it just, I feel refreshed, but at the same time relaxed. I also have my favorite chocolate here. This is actually dark chocolate. I, I do enjoy dark chocolate more so than regular chocolate or milk chocolate because it's not as sweet. This one is so good. This one is intense mint. This is amazing. So this is Lint Excellence. Mm. This is so good. Enough about the mints. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about mints. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jennifer Cortez. And if you came across my channel, it was for a reason. So quick, I'm an artist that also loves fashion. So you'll see a combination of all of that on my channel, but I'm here to inspire, to motivate in any way I can as an artist being creative as well as fashion inspo. So I want to actually go back to one of my videos that I uploaded a while back, a couple years ago, actually. It's about creativity and uh, five ways to be creative and inspire this creativity and innovation. It's still something I really live by. One of the things that I did say is to almost retreat and meditate. Um, so what I meant by that is retreat from the noise, the outside noise. So I teach college students uh, as well. One of the courses that I teach is called Creative Thinking Theory and Practice. And one of the books that we read in part as part of the course is called Wired to Create by Kaufman and Gregor. So we actually talk on uh, a couple of chapters of a couple of things, but I want to focus on one thing specifically that I said is to almost retreat and meditate to inspire creativity. Now, when I put this video out, it was before I actually taught this course. This book talks about some of the greatest innovators and how they created their innovations and some of the similarities they all had between each other, different things, different techniques we, we try out. But as I said, uh, shutting out the noise. So this means being with yourself, learning to be with yourself, learning to get in touch with yourself, which is sometimes very difficult to do. Some of us are afraid to be alone with ourselves because we're afraid of our own thoughts. But if you think about the, some of the artists out there, some of the greatest songwriters out there, in order to pump out those beautiful songs, and if you listen to some of your favorite artists' songs, the lyrics that they write, they have to really get in touch with themselves. And that means being vulnerable with themselves and not caring what anyone thinks because that is where their inspiration comes from. So a lot of it comes from breakups, may come from trauma, things like that. And that is a form of therapy. Songwriting, creativity, songwriting is just one area you can go into, but this could include art, painting, and other forms of arts. There's even dance as well. All these different forms of arts allow us to express ourselves and basically is our form of therapy. So being alone allows us to get in touch with our inner self. And unfortunately, we cannot do that when we're around people, when we're around noise. So that even means 
shutting off our phones or at least getting to the point where we are disciplined and not looking at our phones every two seconds. Maybe put it in another room, which I have done, so I purposely will not look at it for a couple hours. Another thing that's really interesting if you think about it with human behavior is that naturally humans, when they're in a group, in groups in general or in society, we tend to conform and follow, right? So that is another thing. So how can we be unique and how can we be ourselves and think for ourselves if that is the human nature? Ever since we've been children, we've been told, don't do this, don't act like this, sit up straight, you shouldn't do this. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. We've been told how to act so we can fit into this society. There's all sorts of things that we've grown up with, uh, been told not to do in order to be accepted in this society. So when we're around groups and people, just know that naturally the human behavior is to follow. And even when we know ourselves, an idea, we maybe we have a certain opinion and we know that that's correct, we will choose naturally to go with the, to follow society. And that's unfortunate, right? Because we, we don't want to be rejected. We don't want uh, to be looked at in a certain way. Oh, you don't belong here. We don't want to be told that. We want to be accepted. That is the whole thing. And that's a part of what we've been reading in class in the, the book, Kaufman and Gore. And I think it's an excellent book. If you are a creative person and want to find ways to create, I really recommend this book again, Wired to Create by Kaufman and Gore. My whole point of this is, again, my channel is here not only to provide some entertainment and some way with music and songwriting and maybe a music video here and there and my music, right? That kind of thing. Because I'm reaching within. I'm trying to be vulnerable. I am getting better at it than I was before because, you know, it takes a lot to get in there to deal with those types of emotions. But believe me, when you get in there and you you let it out in some form of art, it's a form of therapy. You will honestly, by the end of the whole process, you will feel so much better and almost get over whatever it is. You, you have healed whatever that was. So that's why I love creating so much. And I hope to inspire uh, with my channel in that specific way, not only with being creative in music, but also with fashion and again i've worked in the industry of fashion in different capacities both creative and administration so in creative writing writing for a fashion magazine for a few years blogging content creation i've worked in corporate as well that's a whole other topic corporate we can talk about that another time um, but yes i have the experience there and i teach fashion as well um, really grateful to the universe, to God. I believe in God uh, or a higher source if you don't believe in God, but I believe in God and I believe I've been placed here for a reason, uh, teaching these students for a reason and also being here with you for a reason if you found my channel. So this is my message to you is one of the tips I want you to carry through is learn to be vulnerable with yourself. And the only way you can do that it's being alone, being by yourself. You do need your experiences to learn, to grow, but then you also need to get back with yourself and be with yourself to reflect on all these things and also with your own emotions. How am I feeling? What am I really feeling? And these are the things that are difficult sometimes to get in touch with, but it is a skill and you can use different outlets like art, different forms of art, could be photography, could be painting, could be dance, could be music. The monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind, and that is by Albert Einstein. Gandhi also said, solitude is a catalyst for innovation. So remember that, remember that solitude, retreating, turning off the noise, will get you not only inspire you create creatively, but will also allow you to grow 
into the next level. Believe me, there have been so many times where I was able to manifest things when I was on my own and really shutting everything off. And maybe people won't understand why you're doing this sort of thing. But at the end of the day, you know why you're doing this. And that's what really matters. And friends will understand if they know you. Um, but sometimes you do have to retreat in order to figure things out. Um, get your life together. That's what some people need to get my life together. Um, to figure things out. What is the next step in growth? Maybe you're unhappy for a reason. Maybe you feel like there's something missing in your life. And every now and again, I have felt that there was something missing in my life. So each moment in my life, there was different things that I had to do. And one of the things that really stuck out when I think back to all those times that has given me a new opportunity, new job, um, for example, um, meet new people always happened whenever I pulled back from everything and really needed to be with myself. I really needed, and I wrote things down. I wrote things down. I avoided social media. I avoided even posting on it. I just needed quiet. And I also focused on myself, getting myself in a good place. So the gym. Part of it is taking care of yourself, being alone, and just getting better, being better. So during this time, that's exactly what I'm doing. I have been doing is being with myself, focusing on my work, focusing on what I need to, and focusing on my next goals, being selective, the places I go, um, when I go out, all of that. I'm being very, very selective, and it's all for a purpose. I truly believe I'm being guided. So that is the reason why I've chosen to retreat or I choose to retreat every now and again. So that's really all I wanna to say today. Again, hoping to inspire you out there. If you needed to hear this, you're hearing this for a reason. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also like the video as well. This will help my channel move and grow. I really do appreciate the support of those that are already subscribed on my channel and continuously support me throughout anything that I do, music and fashion. Thank you so much. Ciao.